Add a little bit of mystery to this video because we're talking about Scorpio rising women. Yes, welcome to Lighthouse Tarot. I am Rachel Riley, of course, your host. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Thank you so much for being here. Come join the family if you want. I have a lot of really cool, nice, genuine, authentic subscribers. And to my current subscribers, hello guys. Thank you so much for all your lovely comments, likes, and shares. That really helps me put more content out there. And YouTube really likes that algorithm when you're like liking my stuff, when you're putting it out there, you're commenting. They're like, oh, this girl's got it together. Hey, so. Today, I wanna to talk about Scorpio Risings, but specifically Scorpio Rising women. What are some traits and characteristics that they have? What separates them from the other zodiac signs, as well as my experience as a woman, Scorpio Rising. All right, let's get into it. So, of course, Scorpio Rising is ruled by Pluto and Mars. What is Pluto? Pluto is one of the smallest planets. It is a dwarf planet and it rules the subconscious mind. It rules everything pushed under the rug. It wants to, its purpose is to change the collective as a whole. Pluto's purpose as one of the planets ruling people and ruling you know, society is it wants to tear down, destroy, think the tower card from tarot. It wants to de destroy society as a whole, everything that is not working, everything that's not working, outdated, and limiting beliefs it wants to destroy that and rebuild new think of like a, the roman empire falling down and then rebuilding um the jews and the israelians uh whenever their their wall i don't even know was teared down and then built again just think of that as a whole not just one little tree not just one little house not one town entire thing so pluto is a power planet it's very powerful it is almost elusive I would say but not quite but it wants to create a new society and it is ready and determined to tear it down nothing will get in Pluto's way ever it's very very strong and when Pluto rules your appearance you are going to have the look of power on your face I have noticed with women Scorpio rising they have very strong features and I found this as an astrologist when I am looking at people and observing them like hmm I've gotten really good at figuring out what someone's rising sign is because uh, I've been researching each rising sign and like okay if uh, they're Scorpio this rules their appearance so they're gonna have really strong strong features they're going to have a very prominent jawline very chiseled even if you're a woman very chiseled jawline they're going to have a longer nose almost like a hawk like kind of nose almost like a beak if you think of a hawk just kind of like kind of like that but beautiful beautiful very authentic also scorpio rising women this rules your appearance especially if you have pluto in the first house your first house is your appearance even more so you're going to have very prominent eyebrows even if you don't use makeup they're very they're very uh, full and they're very arched they're very almost like painted on but it's naturally like that and you can use makeup to enhance it if you want or dim it down if you don't Scorpio Risings, I have noticed with women, they have very full lips. Not all of them have the biggest, fullest lips, unless they are of mixed descent, but they do have very full lips more than the average person. So I have noticed these three things out of Scorpio Rising women, especially when ruled by Pluto, Pluto in the first house, they will have a chiseled jawline, very sharp features, very uh, sharp, uh, thick eyebrows, big lips. And of course, let's talk about the eyes, magnetic eyes. The difference between a Scorpio rising and somebody else with their eyes is a Scorpio rising will actually have a black line right here surrounding your eye, your iris, and that will make it more magnetic. Their, their stare is very powerful. It's magnetic. It's even, some would say, intimidating, scary, mysterious. It's almost like a... You're so intrigued because you're scared. It's like a car wreck that you can't tear your eyes from. You don't want to look, but you don't want to not look. That's what we get from Scorpio rising. So that's Pluto. Now Mars, Scorpio rising with Mars. When you're ruled by Mars, Mars, um, think of Mars, think of Leo energy, think of Aries. Like uh, those are two, two of the signs that it's in. But Mars is also Scorpio rising. So you're gonna have that raw passion. You're going to have that drive. You're going, Mars rules like physical activity. So as a Scorpio rising, as a woman, you may find yourself more active. If you're a mother, you're more active with your children. If you are a 
someone that likes to get out, you might like to skateboard, you might get out all your aggression. It's really good for us as Scorpio rising women to take the time to channel all our emotions in a physical way. May that be yoga, may that be skateboarding, may that be going to the gym, may that be just running, may that be um, through some more fun activities, Hey, But uh, yeah, because you're ruled by Mars, you have this passion, you have this fierceness to you, this edge, and also you stand out more. So put these two together, subconscious mind, want to change society as a whole, intimidating, fire, passion, moving force, I am, masculine energy, bam. Because Scorpio is a water sign, it's intuitive, but as women, you also have Mars, so you have a lot of masculine energy in there. So I have found for Scorpio rising women, here's what I found in my life. Men sexualize the F out of Scorpio rising women. Regardless of your orientation, regardless of if you are bisexual, if you are a lesbian, or if you identify as trans, uh, like a he, him, or you are even transgender, men will sexualize you. And I've noticed that for Scorpio Rising. I've noticed that I had a time where I went to a, let's just call it a restaurant and my server kept looking down on my chest area. And I'm gonna say my chest area, because look guys, I had this, um, I was wearing a different shirt. It was only, it was buttoned almost all the way up. I have an undershirt under it too. And he just kept glancing down, glancing. And I was like looking at him like, sir, I am a lesbian, what are you doing? And I've noticed that and it's and it's almost like, and, and at that point I would say, you need to stare at that person back and let them know that I know what you're doing and that'll make them uncomfortable to look away or just look at them the entire time because you have that power within you, Scorpio rising women. Don't ever let anyone sexually harass you. A stare will usually get them to go away, but if need be, speak your truth, stand up for yourself, be like, uh, can I help you? What's 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 down there, huh? <laughs> Cause I'm tired of it, dude. Like a, a part of me as a Scorpio rising, you know, I changed my entire identity, but another part of me was uh, tired of all the attention I received, the kind of like almost uh, creepy attention from men that I didn't necessarily want, I didn't need. And I found that it was more coming towards me while I was feminine. So I was like, you know what, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna dress masculine. If you still find some way in your odd, toxic man brain, certain men, to sexualize me, then you have a lot of issues, dude, a lot because I look like a man, come on. <laughs> but yeah, Scorpio rising, you will find that as a woman, men are gonna look at you and they're gonna sexualize you no matter what you're wearing, no matter what you identify, it's gonna be really strange and weird and annoying. Also, as a Scorpio rising, women will be jealous and try to control you. Not all women, there are a lot of wonderful, beautiful souls out here. And I have found so many cool friends that are like Libra, Libra Suns, Leo, Scorpio Rising, Aquarius Women. I vibe with everyone. I have an Aquarius Sun, even though I'm a Scorpio Rising. So when people come across me, they're intimidated. They're like, wow, so mysterious, open up. But with the Aquarius Sun, I can dial up my friendliness. I can dial up my talking and that could kind of like calm them down and realize like I'm really not that intimidating. It's just my appearance. Yeah, I can be intense, but I also have this friendliness about me, right? But I have found in my own life, uh, just like strange day-to-day -day errands. I was running to Walgreens once and I wanted to get a charger and I was standing behind the line and the electronics said close. I was standing behind the line and she was like, I was like, yes, I would like a charger. She's like, oh, okay. And then I was like, and she's like, follow me. And I'm like, all right. <laughs> I like followed her and she's like, what kind you need? I was like, okay, I need one for iPhone seven. She's like over here. And I was like, okay. She's like, do you need this one or that? Just being really brash, really rude, kind of controlling. And I could, it wasn't more like what she was saying, but how she was saying it and how she was, her energy was very like, very closed off, very like a tough, very uh jealous and kind of angry like wanting to control me and it's because women other women can sense your power when you walk in somewhere you could be the friendliest kindest sweetest person in the world treat everyone with politeness but some people just won't like you as scorpio rising i find that especially with women unless you do a lot of self-work and even then some people won't so just let them go on their way so i found that as scorpio rising men very sexualizing of us women jealous and uh intimidated right of our power now these are just like lower energies i have noticed so i wanted to get that out of the way but yeah scorpio rising women there's just something about them guys and know this if you're a scorpio rising women woman woman you don't need makeup you don't need the best clothes you don't need name brand things you don't need to say a, a lifelong speech literally People are listening when you talk. I've noticed this with Scorpio rising, like when you speak, 
the whole energy in the room changes, especially as a woman. And people are like, what do they have to say? And I've noticed that even like with meeting new friends and all that, they 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 find you as very mysterious, Scorpio rising. They find you as very alluring. They're gonna ask you a lot of questions. And I know you're gonna get kind of irritated. Like, why are you asking me these questions? Is this an interview? As a Scorpio rising, we're very protective of our energy, of our privacy of our secrets so when somebody's asking us 21 questions we're really not going to like it but we understand why it's because you're ruled by pluto so your aura not what you say not what you do but when you walk in somewhere if you're a scorpio rising your aura is mysterious people are going to think that you're hiding something or that you have some really cool secrets and they just want to know like who are you what are you about do you have the secret talent like are you leading a double life they're gonna have all these crazy, weird, strange ideas running through their head right when they see you. And it's up to you whether you want to give them pieces of information or not. If someone is really getting in your business, I like to just throw out uh, a secret that's not really a secret, but I act like it is. And that kind of like gets them off my case. I've done this with like some old coworkers, some friends that I was just like acquaintances with. And I was like, uh-uh. Or just like, uh, just be positive and then people will leave it alone because usually if they want gossip, if you're too positive, they're gonna keep going on. They, they want negative usually with gossip. But yeah, a Scorpio rising, you guys that are women, oh my God. Woo, Scorpio rising does, does something to me that no other sign can, but I appreciate every single sign, but it's that, that magnetism. You're just drawn in like a magnet. When you see another Scorpio rising, you're like, oh my God, like they have, they have, especially the women, they have that special something. They have that classy like allure about them, that magnetism that brings and pulls you in. You're like, who are you? What are you? I wanna be near you. I wanna be around you. I want some of your magic to rub off on you. And if you're not a very strong person, this can turn into jealousy. But if you're strong in yourself and you know who you are, you're gonna wanna be around them. I really love the eyes of Scorpio rising. I mean, I've said this in every single video I have, but the women, it's kind of like you're drawn into like a pool, like a, a big blue, brilliant pool and you're like falling into their eyes and you almost can't tear yourself away when you're staring into the eyes of a Scorpio rising woman. You're like, oh my gosh, I feel like I just went to a whole new world. Like it's great, it's amazing. And with Scorpio rising women, do know that you are always in control. You always hold the power, even if somebody is being a bully to you, even if someone is trying to use finances against you, trying to use, excuse me, your word against you, trying to point out your flaws. We have this thing. We have this superpower as Scorpio Risings that we can tap into at any point. And this is our power when, excuse me guys, we say what we mean and we mean what we say. So when someone hits a boundary, when someone's being disrespectful, we turn on that Mars energy. We turn on that scorpion, that scorpion that's silent but deadly. But if you back that scorpion into a corner, its tail's gonna come out and sting you before you even saw it coming. It's kind of like when somebody, they say like the scariest fighters are not the ones that are like, bah, 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 I'm gonna fight you, I'm gonna fight you. Like, oh, I know how to fight. No, it's always the quiet one. The quiet one at school, the one that's like has their head down reading a book, that's the one that really knows how to fight and you're not even gonna see it coming. She's gonna be like, bam, and they're gonna sit back down like nothing happened, open their book. Like, I told you. So as Scorpio Rising, do you know that you have that power to tap in? I'm not condoning violence at all. I'm just saying if there is a point, if you have more of like an air sign energy or a feminine energy in your sun and you kind of like have a tendency to people please, your Scorpio Rising will take over if uh, a boundary is hit or if someone's being disrespectful because you're ruled by Pluto and Pluto's like, uh-uh, we ain't doing this, honey. And you're gonna stand up for yourself and you're gonna have that power in your eyes. If anyone is ever intimidating you or pushing you around, just remain remain eye contact with them. Keep, keep strong eye contact with them, but have that power. Have that power behind and look at them and just feel the power through your entire body. Feel that power coming up between, like uh, underneath your feet, up, towards your legs, through your sacral chakra, through your eyes and feel it all coming out towards you and towards the other person. And nine times out of 10, that person will stop what they're doing. And I had a really cool Aries friend, she tell me, tell me this, she's like, if anyone's ever being like abusive to you or making you feel uncomfortable, you can just stare at them directly in the face and be like, why are you doing that? This pushes them out of their, uh, 
their negative mindset when they're thinking about so many things at once and then it, it makes them stop and think logically like hey why am i calling this person a name hey why am i being so extra hey why am i gossiping hey why am i going on a tangent why am i uh, throwing items around it's gonna get that person stop get out and so just stare at someone and be like hey why are you doing that why are you treating me that way why are you speaking to me like that and you know you scorpios were very strong and we know we have our action behind that so Scorpio rising women, you know, if you're ever in an abusive relationship or you're ever in a toxic environment, all you have to do is stand up for yourself and then have the action to back it up. Like if you tell someone, hey, if you start to curse at me or raise your voice, I'm going to leave the room or I'm going to leave the premises. And then back that up when someone does start cussing or, you know, making you feel unsafe or whatnot, just to leave the room. But you guys are so powerful and you are always in control. If you know this and you know that you're blessed and that you're magnetic and that you can walk in somewhere and you can get everything that you want through your power, that you have the power to make your dreams come true, that your purpose on the life, on life, in life, as a Scorpio rising is to inspire, is to heal. As a Scorpio rising, we're the Phoenix rising from the ashes. So it is our curse and our blessing to go through traumatic experiences over and over to not necessarily traumatic to go through transformation to, to go through tower moments over and over and in that tower moment we realize who we are when we have everything stripped away from us all our vehicles our houses our friends our clothing our our material objects our love life friends everything gone and you have nothing but yourself but your soul and your heart and your body as a Scorpio rising, you tap into that and you realize who you are and you realize what you're about and you realize your strength, that you're incredibly strong and resilient, determined and powerful. Your power has no limit as a Scorpio rising woman or man, even everybody. And doing this, knowing this, this teaches you to go to the next level, to go through your next tower moment, and more importantly, to help heal other people. It's because when you know yourself, you're confident and authentic, and you can teach someone how to do it too. So I feel like with Scorpio Rising, one of our purposes purposes in life is to heal and then to teach others how I did it. Like, this is how I was so strong. This is how I made my dreams come true. This is how I stopped giving an F about what people think about me. This is how I got more in my own frame, became the main character, started taking more fashion risks, started putting myself out there, started uh, never giving up, being persistent and hitting all my goals and hitting every single thing and being confident that is your purpose and also Scorpio rising we make really amazing therapists because we don't necessarily like to share all the time we do like to stand back in the background and listen and because people sense the, the, the secrets, maybe they're trying to hide certain secrets, so they're gonna let out other things. I notice with a lot of people, they tend to overshare with me the first time I meet them, and that's normal because they sense your mysterious aura, and if they can't get you to admit your aura, they're gonna admit their, their mysterious uh, secrets towards you, and that's cool, and that makes it like really good for you guys. You guys are amazing counselors, therapists. You guys have the gift of speaking, of public speaking, of counseling, and of healing people through your strength, through these things, because you can go to Scorpio rising with traumatic events, you couldn't go to another sign because Scorpio rising has been through it multiple times and they hold the power and they have made it through it and they're resilient, they're still here and they have held and been through the dark night of the soul, through their darkest moment, they have shined and become better, stronger, more beautiful and loving. That raw type of beauty. Oh, I see it in the face of every Scorpio rising and I love it and it, I'm living for it. So yeah, guys, this was my video on Scorpio Rising Women. I hope you enjoyed it. Drop a red heart down here if you're Scorpio Rising and let me know your experience with that. I will try to get to the comments as much as I can. And also, as always, I'm open for tarot reading if you wanna book a personal reading with you. My information is in the description below, as well as I'm reading birth charts on my Etsy shop and that's on the description. Thank you so much. You guys have a wonderful day, evening, night. I love you, goodbye.